first of all, I want to give thanks to the media friends for the coverage. The All Nagaland Kula Students Union, ANSU, is irrespective of any tribe, region, or caste, or color. It is for the college's students, formed by the colleges. The All Nagaland Kula Students Union used to have its college admit biennially. Uh, so this year we are having college admit. Next year we'll be having a uh, general conference. And our college admit starts from today, that is 17 to 21. It will be for five days under the theme Metaphoresis. Now I would like to give time to my convener. Yeah. See, because of the pandemic, as we all know, starting from the year 2020, the pandemic was there. So the last uh, college admit that was held was in the year 2018. So we are very grateful that now the situation has some, somehow come under control and then it is somehow under normal. So uh, as of this evening, 31 colleges have, have already registered from every uh, district of uh, Nagaland. And then total participation of delegates is uh, as enrolled is 1092. The college admit will be for five days. The first day that is uh, this evening is the introductory session. Tomorrow it will be the inaugural session, which will be graced by the Honorable Minister of State for Youth and Sports Services, Tourism, Information and Technology, Government of Mizoram, uh, Sri Robert Roite. Uh, he will be arriving tomorrow and he will be with us. And then the, in the, after the inaugural program is over, we will be having the sports activity, which will be uh, inclusive of uh, badminton, chest, football, volleyball for ladies, then we have the beat contest, and then the Miss Angsu. On the third day, uh, we will be having a special uh, session that is uh, the beat contest, uh, which is to be graced by the Director General of Police, but however, unfortunately, because of some uh, personal problems at home, he will be represented by some other officer from his, uh, uh, some other subordinate officers from his office. In the closing function, we will be having the presence of uh, QP Sesangtam, who is a first-class contractor, and also the president of the Nagaland Solar Contractors Union. In the introductory session, we had the honor of having Y. Vikiho Awumi, who is also the former chairman of the Mipal Municipal Council, as the guest. And then the chief host uh, is the uh, Minister for Higher Education, uh, who is none other than uh, Sri Temjan Im Naalong. Yeah. And then so we are looking forward, we, in the course of our uh, sports meet, we particularly solicit the cooperation of the Dimapur citizens and then we also invite them to be, uh, to come and be, uh, give the support as well as uh, come witness the uh, All Nagaland College Students Union College at Meet 2022. Thank you. Okay, so tell me one, uh, one question uh, which I have is, uh, is this collegiate meet is open for all other students based in Dimapur or the uh, students coming up from Nagaland, wherever? Is it they can uh, get inside? Uh, I would uh, regret to say, but uh, all the districts are participating except our uh, brothers from the eastern areas, the colleges from the eastern area jurisdiction, they have uh, not registered. So other than that, all the other colleges are participating. So uh, what, what I want to ask is that the students are allowed to come in here in this program. The uh, students, higher seventy students from, and the other students who have not participated as a delegate, mm. but they want to come from uh, other colleges based in Manipur. Are they? Uh, see, the Angsu they have affiliated colleges. Yeah. So those colleges who are affiliated to Angsu, they are participating in the trophy. Dimapur students, yes, college students. But higher secondary, it, since it does not fall within the ambit of the Angsu, uh, since over the years their participation is not there. But college students, it is there. Okay. Yeah. That means uh, they can come. Any college students can come. Yes, 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 yes. As, see, as I've told you, 1,092 delegates have res uh, registered. So out of these 1,092 students, they will be participating. There will be teams from football, volleyball for women. Then we have a chess team, then we have the badminton team, mixed doubles, which is mixed double, and then we have uh, uh, bands representing different colleges, as well as we have, uh, there, there is one participant each from every college for Miss Ansu as well. Yeah, so as of this evening, 31 colleges. Yeah. Mr. Ryo, when he came to Mizoram in the year 2014, he said before Damedia that 
Robatwe there has brought more than 2,000 crores of development funds for development of Nagaland. And the amount is not exactly right, but after my brief calculation, the amount sanctioned and approved by government of India from the project reports and DPRs of NECS was a, a little more than that. I started my entrepreneurship and my business career in Nagaland. Mm, after that, the government of Meghalaya also invited me and I take up the responsibility of consultancy for preparing project reports and DPRs for Meghalaya as well. And Mizoram is in the heart, though it is my constant. The reason why I am talking about consultancy and EPRs today is that the students of today have more opportunities and more chances to, you see, to survive and to face challenges of life than the previous years. If Robert, myself, RRR, in Mizoram they call me RRR, people R. Robert, from where are right there? <coughs> if poor Robert can do, Nagas can also do. I would like to encourage you to play football, to play futsal, to play, to, to play volleyball, to play chess, any of the games. That is good for health, that is good for fitness. There is no harm at all playing all types of games. Some people are playing for medals in a focused and concentrated manner. Some people are playing for joy. Some people are playing for fitness and health. All of them are doing good things. So, Today's gathering and the meet, the sporting activities, cultural activities that will follow in days to come, in time to come, will be of great help for your education, for fighting your unknown or unrecognized anxiety and stress. It is the need of an hour that everyone does physical exercise on a daily and on a timely basis. Though I have decided not, not, to, touch, not, not to touch upon the political issue, I have changed my mind just now. <laughs> I think my speech will be incomplete if I don't touch a very proud political journey of the Naga people. You see, in the year 2029, long back 2029, there was a very famous commission, and so these leaders are very much aware of the commission. It, it is Simon Commission under the British line. Some 90 plus years back, the Nanda Club has submitted a very, very well drafted memorandum to the Simon Commission for demanding independence from India after the British 
live in their empire. That may be the first, you see, manifestation of the tribal communities for their sovereignty. Not only among the Anakas, if you go through the tribal histories of other North states and even the mainland India, no such political consensus was there among other communities, including Mizoram, Megalia, and uh, Arunachalem. But the Nagas have such a very deep rooted nationalism and political consciousness way back in the year 2019. The consciousness manifested itself in submission of a very strong and you see, uh, <coughs> impacting memorandum to the Simon, Simon Commission. Writers, historians, political scientists regarded this memorandum as the beginning of the journey of Naga people in their political movement. A good number of momentous and remarkable steps followed the submission of the memorandum by the club to Simon Commission. Mention may be made of the formation of the National Council in 1946 under the able leadership of AZ Fijo. May I request the college students to raise your hands if you know HFU, the name of HF Fijo, please. Any one of you? Oh, very few. HF Fijo is very popular in Mizoram. <clears throat> he came to Mizoram also once. And the Mizoram National Front Movement was actually advocated and instigated, so to say, by HF Fijo. We respect him, we salute him. And when I first came to Nagaland, my first, what I first did was to visit Ezefizio's tomb at a Nagaland Secretariat. I, I was really impressed by his political zeal. So the demand for independence went on. Lots of problems were there also, factions, politics also involved, and as we all know, we are here.